There are dangerous versions of Roblox floating around. Roblox may have just made the egg hunt worse, but they also may have just made it better. It really depends. It's so much more stuff in today's video that I want to talk about after I tell you guys that it's my birthday today and you must subscribe or else you're a bad person. <laughs> yes, guys, it is my birthday, real and true, and you should subscribe because uh, it'll make my birthday 10 times better. Anyways, let's get to the news because who cares about my birthday, all right? That's so lame and stupid. And you know what's way cooler? Some huge egg hunt news because there's been so much since my last videos on the egg hunt. You know, I took a day off and yeah, it's time to get right back into the egg hunt stuff because there's so much to talk about. And then after I talk about the egg hunt stuff, we're going to get into some interesting stuff that I personally found, uh, that I think is interesting. And you guys should know because, because yeah, I found some dangerous Roblox versions that are being downloaded in the thousands. I'm not even kidding. Anyways, let's get to it with the first story being some small asset leaks that I saw on Twitter from this Twitter account right here, where basically this person said that there is these two things that were leaked, such as a coin mesh, which seems pretty cool and a little buy icon which is kind of meaningless. The main thing that I'm kind of looking at is the coin, because, like, how are coins going to be in this whole, like, thing? Like, is the hunt going to be something where you got to, like, get money to buy certain items? I don't know. But if it is like that, that'd be actually kind of sick. But I don't think it's going to be like that. And this is probably just going to be within, like, Roblox's hub game, where you can, like, collect coins, maybe. But either way, those are some leaked things from the egg hunt, and I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, it's just kind of confirmed that there's going to be some sort of, like, cash thing in the egg hunt, and you're probably going to be able to use it to buy certain items from, like, a store or something. But now we can get to some more crazy crazy egg hunt news, such as David Bazuki confirming that it's a dev hunt. So basically, David Bazuki responded to Megan Plays, saying top experiences will be massively featured in the egg hunt. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people are just looking at this tweet and they're going, oh, so it's a dev hunt. L for Roblox. But in my opinion, I look at this tweet and he said massively featured. So that means that there's going to at least be some original content from Roblox in this whole egg hunt. He didn't say it's all going to be just top experiences. It's going to be top experiences plus some Something else from Roblox. So I guess that's what the space game is, maybe. So uh yeah, that's pretty interesting to see that. So yeah, uh Dave Bazuki kind of confirmed that this whole egg hunt thing is going to be a dev hunt, but he also confirmed that there's gonna at least be some original Roblox content in it. And I think that's really cool. And I I feel like a lot of people are taking his tweet the wrong way. You know what I mean? Because if you go into the responses, you can see you can see a lot of people just saying, Oh, it's a dev hunt, L, 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 whatever. There's also a lot of people saying that they're pretty hyped about this, which is pretty cool. I think this tweet's awesome, and I think it uh kind of confirms way more than we think, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe I'm looking too far into it, but it seems pretty awesome. But anyways, now we can get to some more other crazy news for the egg hunt. That is this Dominus, guys. This is so real. This is the realest Dominus I've ever seen. But basically, there's this tweet that was blowing up that says, wow, okay, lol, a Dominus. It has PBR textures too, with a screenshot of a admin uploading a texture for a Dominus. And if you go into the comments, you can see they put it onto a Dominus and, uh, you know, looked at how it looked, I guess. And, you know, even though this looks very realistic, it's not real, or at least I don't think it's real because this person hasn't posted anything about it since and nobody else has mentioned a dominus so yeah i i i'm pretty sure this is fake like 99.999 percent sure it's fake and it's just a joke because the person that also made this whole tweet is a 3d modeler so <laughs> so you know yeah i think they faked it but uh, either way it's entertaining to see that it did trick me for a little bit but uh yeah guys this dominus is not real if you saw it on twitter it's not real and this is also like not the only fake item that has been released from this whole egg hunt thingy majig because if you go to this person's twitter account you can see that they released this tweet right here saying this hunt is going to be insane so many items revealed already with a screenshot of a bunch of roblox items that are apparently going to be in the egg hunt now you can see uh some of these items are real and were actually leaked such as commando the sword pack but then if you look a little closer there's a spider-man hat a ticks explosion hat a gingerbread house and a gift box which are, those are all fake they're not real this person just made them to troll and as you can see the tweet got 1,000 likes so a lot of people saw it and maybe perhaps believed it <laughs> but no uh it's not real guys sadly <laughs> we're not gonna get a spider-man hat in the egg hunt or a ticks hat but man this is just a funny tweet i'm gonna be honest this is funny this is awesome but yeah now we can move on to the next egg hunt thing which just happens to be this pre-craft tweet response to roblox's tweet so basically yesterday roblox tweeted out this trailer thing where it's just kind of like a, a circle of like portals and it says who's ready right now when i first saw this i was like oh cool i don't know it's just like a small little trailer but apparently there's a secret egg hidden in it it. like for real this time it's not no like delusional thing this is actually an egg i think but basically creekcraft tweeted out this i have enjoyed dissecting this frame by frame with a screenshot of an egg in front of a portal and i didn't know if this was real or not so i went to the video myself and if you go to three seconds in the thing you can see that there is in fact an egg or something in front of a portal like that's totally an egg bro i don't know what roblox is cooking but that's totally an egg and it's weird because that doesn't show up on any other portal like it's only that one portal so i think 
think this is the first time I actually think Roblox hit an egg in something on purpose. Like, all the other times that we've seen, I think it was just people being delusional. He made this tweet a couple days ago saying that the glow in this picture is in the shape of an egg. Low-key, don't see it. Uh, but, you know, I digress. A lot of people liked this tweet and also believed in that theory. But, uh, yeah, I don't think that's real. But I think this one's real. I think this is totally an egg. If it is, uh, why? Why would Roblox do this? They're clearly not putting eggs in the egg hunt uh, from what I, we've been seeing online. So I don't know why they did this, but, you know, either way, cool little Easter egg, I guess. Thank you, Roblox. But now we can move on to the last egg hunt leak that I saw before we get onto the dangerous Roblox versions, because that's also something I'm excited to talk about. But basically, this screenshot right here has apparently been taken from mobile, because apparently mobile players were seeing this category on their front page. Now, I think this could be fake, but it might not be, because I've seen a lot of people tweet about this. But basically, people are getting, like, this genre on Roblox that says The Hunt First Edition. So if this is real, it might actually be hinting at there being multiple editions of The Hunt, which is pretty cool. And also, it kind of just confirms, yeah, that this is probably going to be a dev hunt, because if this is a real screenshot, they're probably just going to put every single game that's involved in this whole, like, category, which uh, would make a lot of sense. But yeah, either way, huge hunt leaks, pretty cool. Thank you, Roblox. But now we can move on to something that I think is a bit more urgent and uh, silly, to be honest. So for the past couple days, I've actually found some really weird, like, dangerous versions of Roblox. And today, I just want to show two examples that I feel like are the main ones that are, you know, active and uh, pose somewhat of a threat to the Roblox community, okay? So let's just get started with, I'd say, the least uh, likely one to affect you or anybody else. And it's basically uh, the Google downloads for Roblox. If you don't know what I mean, basically, if you search up on Google, Roblox free download or Roblox APK download, you'll get fed a bunch of third-party websites that are offering downloads to Roblox. Now, surprisingly, most of the websites I actually went to on the front page of Google that like advertise free Roblox downloads were actually safe. From what I could see, they were actually safe. They did have some like really bad monetization practices and like kind of crappy ads on their website. But other than that, the files that they let you download for Roblox seem to be like somewhat official. Like they actually like downloaded them straight from Roblox's website. But here's where it gets a bit more interesting, okay? Because if you only look for Roblox APKs, which are the Android versions of Roblox, you will find some uh, not so savory versions of Roblox that are potentially dangerous. So here's one screenshot that I got yesterday where I actually downloaded a Roblox APK that had one detection out of 60, which if you know anything about virus total or viruses like this, one detection is not crazy. Like that's not a lot. And, and honestly, if you have an application that has one detection on virus total, it's probably just a false positive, which means that it's most likely safe. And that's what I realized that most Roblox APKs I ran through virus total were safe, like completely safe. They had zero detections. They were completely 100% safe. So I don't know why this one APK in particular had a detection of malware in it. Maybe it was a false positive, but at the end of the day, it was still modified. It wasn't the same as the other APKs I was downloading. And that's just kind of crazy because I think the first APK I downloaded was the one with a weird detection. So that means that that was a website that was on the literal front page of Google advertising a free Roblox download for Android, which is a bit spooky, but not as spooky as the next set of dangerous versions of Roblox. And it's basically Roblox mods. So over the past month or so, the Google Play Store has had a plethora of these uploaded, but basically it's Roblox mod clients or mod versions, where basically you download them onto your phone and then you basically play Roblox through that version of Roblox and it supposedly will give you exploits in Roblox games. Now, I don't know if these work, and I don't know if they're completely malicious or not, but what I do know is that they have very, very bad reviews, and I also know that they get hundreds of thousands of downloads in just under a month. Here's one example that I found of one that was uploaded just a month ago and already has 100,000 downloads. And by the way, its rating was two out of five stars, so obviously there's something wrong with it, because at the end of the day, you shouldn't be downloading random things on your devices, and if you're going to download Roblox, please only do it from official sources, such as the Roblox website, the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store, or just anywhere else. Just do not get it from these random third-party websites because there's obviously a chance that it could be modified or tampered with and could include malware, okay? As well as don't download random mod client things on Android. That's just so stupid because, yeah, it seems like for some reason, these Roblox clients are getting more and more popular and uh, <laughs> they might be dangerous. 